back to my channel my name is Sinead and if you're new here I'm a Disney fan in Ireland and I do a lot of Disney related stuff so please subscribe if that sounds like your cup of tea. So today I have a little lounge fly collection video this is probably going to be part one of two because otherwise I feel like the videos would just be too long so I've got a few of my lounge flies I'm not going to share them in any particular order except that I'm going to start with the first one I ever bought and then the most recent one I ever bought. So let's get started. Also, just a little precursor to this video. If some of my backpacks look used, it's because they are used. I buy them to wear them. I only display like a handful of them. Um, I will probably display them all when we stop renting and move into a house. But yeah, anyway, if they look used, it's because they're used and loved. So the first one I have here is this Oliver and Company backpack. I bought this early 2020, like April, May 2020. Um, kind of like just the, near the start of the pandemic, really wanted to treat myself to a lounge fly backpack because I'd never gotten myself one before. And this one just caught my eye straight away. So this one I've used a few times. I really love this. I need to start using it again some more, especially like the bright colors in summer. So at the top we have Dodger, Oliver and Georgette and then driving, so they're like on the top of a taxi and then driving the taxi is Tito and Francis. I absolutely love this backpack so much. Plenty of room. Um, it's kind of like the classic, you know, front pocket kind of area. I didn't actually keep the foam in the front pocket and I wish I did. I've done that since on most of these bags with these front pockets, but I didn't on this one. Still though, it's kept its shape quite well. The hardware on this one is a black plaque and silver hardware, which go really well with this design. And the coolest element, or well, the front is the coolest element, but one of the cooler elements is the straps have that taxi print. I think this is real retro, as in at least like 80s style retro. So I really love it. And then the inside of the bag, which I haven't looked at in a while, because I haven't used this in like a year is the Oliver and Company movie logo font. So really, really cute. And this actually came with a wallet, which I used a lot more than the backpack. This was like my main purse or wallet for a good few months when I bought this. Um, Again, it's a similar design. It's got some of the guys there on the front with the lovely hardware. And then Dodger and Oliver on the back looking absolutely adorable. And the most recent lounge fly that I got, or at least that I received, watch this space for anyone but it's this gorgeous little mermaid bag. So this I did a whole video on, which I'll link in the description. So I won't say like go through it or anything, but as you can see, it's a gorgeous deep blue, almost like a navy blue, but not really. The hardware is a very navy blue and it's silver hardware again. Gorgeous image of the gang there and Ariel swimming over to Eric's ship. Favorite element of this is the back, scuttle amongst the fireworks on the back there. And then it does light up, but last time I showed it, it's a little bit darker because it's the evening time here. So you probably, let's see, can you see it? Kind of, mm, not on camera, but there's lights amongst the fireworks. There's like a little remote control on the inside here. Um, and the inside is a firework and scuttle print. So the next one is probably my favorite, I'm going to say of all my lounge fly bags. And it's my Mary Poppins Jolly Holiday with Mary backpack. Um, this also comes with a wallet, which I'll show you. I bought the set. My lovely friend Mary from Jolly Holiday with Mary. She, I'll link her channel. She um, bought this for me. Like she ordered it for me and I sent her the money. Um, we got them together because they were... I had to wait a long while or something like that for them to come out here in Ireland and I just wanted it straight away. So she was like, it's out here, let's let's order. So this is the backpack. As you can see, it doesn't have a front pocket like the other bags do, um, but it has this glorious image, this like retro animated image of Bert and Mary during the Jolly Holiday sequence. These gorgeous butterfly and floral detail on here. This I've used a bit, this I used quite a bit in my Disneyland Paris trip, so it didn't get scuffed or anything, but it's used now. Like I wanted to use it. I didn't want to just display it. I wanted to show it off and I'm glad I did. On the side there, we have lovely sewn embroidered penguins. How cute are they? And it's the same on this side. And then on the back here, we have 
the Jolly Holiday, or does it say it's a Jolly Holiday? No, it just says Jolly Holiday, but it has gorgeous embroidered details saying Jelly, Jelly Holiday? Oh my God. Guys, I've had a day at work, I'm tired. Jolly Holiday. And again, we have silver hardware, which I didn't really realize how many of my bags had silver hardware, but there you go. And I really love the plaque on this bag because I love that really, really baby pink that matches the sides of the bag here. And on the inside of it, there's a euro <laughs> from my trip, but on the inside of it, it's the penguins. And it's again, this gorgeous pink and it just, it's a really stunning bag. It's probably my favorite. I think I will probably put it up now until I go on a Disney trip again, just so it doesn't get too scuffed or misshapen too much, but how beautiful is this? And as I was saying, this came with a wallet, which I have yet to use. I don't think I will use um, because I think I love the wallet even more. I still have the label on it. So the front of the wallet is again that beautiful flower butterfly detail. You've got the baby pink plaque, the gorgeous penguins. But then my favorite part is the merry-go-round scene is depicted on the back with Bert and Mary on their merry-go-round horses, elegant merry-go-round horses. And I just think it's beautiful. And the next one I have here is one that I got from a subscription box last summer awkward because the subscription box is really controversial <laughs> and um i think they shut down not too long ago for dodgy reasons but anyway they were good to me for like the first two or three boxes then it all fell apart but i got this in one of my first boxes i will link the video in the description and let me tell you the excitement that came over me because i had wanted this backpack for ages. So this is again a pink backpack. I do feel like it's smaller than the other ones. I think it actually is, but it's still so gorgeous. So it's this gorgeous bright baby pink color and it's obviously the Aristocats kittens whom I love. Um, I'll show that bag that's always behind me, um, which is also a lounge fly in a bit more detail in part two. But this backpack is so, so adorable. I used this a lot last summer. Um, I kind of think I need to clean the straps. They don't look too bad, they look okay. But just before I put it up, I think I need to clean the straps a little bit. And this backpack is from the sequence where they're singing at the piano and it's just adorable. I love their little cute expressions and I love that the kittens are embroidered on this. I think that's a lovely detail. The front pocket, as you can see, it doesn't raise out like the other ones with the front pockets. It's just kind of there. So you wouldn't really get too much into it. Maybe if you want to keep like makeup or lipstick or something in there. And the top part here, as well as the straps, is a really gorgeous detail. It's piano keys. How cute is that? I just think that's a lovely design. Like some of these lounge flies are so stunning. And the hardware is gold on this bag, as you can see, which I think really suits it. And the side is gold with a black plaque. And then the inside, let me see. Again, it's been a while since I used this one. The inside, yes, so similar to the Oliver and Company one, it has like the logo for the movie The Aristocats on the inside. And then the kitten's like walking along the music notes, like in the opening of the film. This one, I think I will have to give to my niece at some stage because she loves the Aristocats so much. And when she's a little bit bigger, this will be perfect for her for school. Now this is a Christmas one. And this one, I'm absolutely raging how much it dropped in price as soon as Christmas is over. But I mean, I couldn't wait till after Christmas. I had to have it for the festive season. So this is a Christmas lounge fly. I had seen a lot of Christmas lounge fly bags because there are a ton. And this one, probably because it's the most cutesy and like, kitschy was the one that i wanted the most the little snowman snow globe one so i got this i think in november and i wore it all through whatever was left in november when i got it all through december i think up until early january so i need to figure out a way to clean the straps properly that's not going to damage them because this the straps are a little bit scuffed well quite a bit scuffed on this one just because i used it every day but i love this backpack look at how lovely that blue is and look at how lovely the like polka dot mixed with the mickey head snow element is i think that's just a gorgeous design and of course the main focus here is these two gorgeous mickey and minnie snowmen in like a snow globe detail and in here it looks like snow it's like fake snow now it doesn't actually move around i was kind of hoping but it's 
fairly sturdy in there. It doesn't really move around inside that pocket. And I'm pretty sure I kept, yes. So I didn't put anything in this pocket and I did keep the um, foam in there just to keep the round shape on this bag. So um, I just really think this is super cute and I can't wait till this Christmas to rock it again. It has gold hardware as well and a really nice blue plaque. And speaking of special occasions mini backpacks, I have this Hocus Pocus one that I bought around Halloween. And this one I think is one of my most subtle, if you can call it any of my Lunchfly backpacks subtle, this is one of my most subtle ones. This one I actually wore recently, even though it has a dog hair on the plaque, of course it does. Even though it's Hocus Pocus themed and it does have like the skull and the little candelabra and the book and everything on there. It's very subtle. It's to me. So I really, really love it. And I've worn it a few times because I think it is one of my more subtle and more kind of versatile mini backpacks. And I love the colors. I love the black mixed with the turquoise mixed with the purple. That shade of purple is so beautiful to me. And this as well, because of the colours, like I've worn this a lot and it doesn't really get scuffed or dirty, which is another fantastic point, part of it. And I also kept the foam in the front pocket for this one purely because I don't really use the front pocket. Like lounge flies are deceptively roomy. Um, like this is the size of a good size handbag, so I don't really need the front pocket for much. Then the inside of this one, you can't see too well. But this one, because it's quite dark, it's just a darker version in purple of the outer design. So this next one, Kevin bought me for, I think it was for our anniversary last year. Um, It was either for our anniversary or for my birthday last year. But anyway, I love it. So it's a Rescuers Down Under one, such an underrated Disney movie. What are you doing? If you haven't seen it, go away on Disney Plus and check it out because it's so good. So all the characters, of course, Bernard and Miss Bianca on the front there. And then this front pocket, did I keep the foam? I did keep the foam in this one too. I knew to do that. And it has a black plaque. And this one actually has kind of a distressed bronze hardware, which really suits the whole aesthetic of the bag. And then the inside of this bag, I've worn this bag actually a good bit. Um, I wore it to sea life and I wore it when I went to see alpacas and stuff. I feel like I wear it to like animal related stuff subconsciously. So the inside of this backpack is very cool. It's got that whole like Australian outback look to it, I guess. Um, and it has the Rescuers Down Under logo in there. So that's just part one. I feel like part two might be a bit longer, but we'll see how that goes. So that's part one of my lounge fly collection. Um, I can't wait to show you part two. I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know if you have any of these bags or what lounge flies you have. Direct me towards your lounge fly collection videos because I love to see them. I'm a bit obsessed. And I really hope you enjoyed seeing my bags or half of my collection. And thank you so, so much for watching. Take care.